Welcome to the 2024 Orioles Hall of Fame induction ceremony. We gather to celebrate the Orioles careers of Dick Bowie, Terry Crowley, and Nick Markakis. Robert Suarez, the 34-year-old, who's been one of the best surprises in the majors this year. Boy, he has been a difference maker. Currently riding 17 and two-thirds scoreless. This is the same matchup that we had back on June 23rd. Baltimore was in Houston, and Suarez went five innings, took the loss in that game. And Albert Suarez was greeted by a leadoff home run from Altuve in that game at Minute Maid Park. Is this ball drilled deep to left field, all the way back is Slater. Oh, watch it go! Altuve's done it again! His second leadoff home run this season against Albert Suarez. Just like that, Albert Suarez's streak of 17 and two-thirds scoreless innings, the longest in the majors right now, is over. Here at Camden Yards, you see Robert Valdez is on the bump, navy blue jersey with him. 3.20 is his ERA, has been phenomenal since that all-star break. Does have a couple of starts against these Baltimore Orioles, four to be exact. Overall, he's pitched in five games against the Orioles. He's given up six home runs in those five appearances, but was brilliant last time out at home against the Chicago White Sox, going seven shutout innings for the Astros. Austin Slater kickstarts it. And right on cue, that's what he does. Rolls the ground ball, and Pena's throw is way up high. What has gotten into Jeremy Pena in this series? Well, the Gold Glover's not playing. Uh, he, well, this he doesn't have a golden arm. He had plenty of time. Not that Slater doesn't run. I mean, he just flips it. Now, maybe he can't get it out of his glove. So, That's what it looked yeah, like to yeah, me. Like yeah. the rhythm, right. it threw off his rhythm because he had trouble in the transfer. Again, you know, you need extra outs, especially against a guy like Framber Valdez. 3-1 to Rutschman. Slater leading off first. And Adley with a flare, base hit to left. Takes a change up to the pull side. An error, a single, and the Orioles quickly have two on. Henderson batting 284, seventh in the AO, the 371 on base percentage. Fourth in the league with 33 homers, 78 RBIs. Got him. Swing and a miss for the first Fromber Valdez strikeout of the game. Gunnar Henderson goes down for the first out. Now here's Anthony Santander. Fromber has had 27 double plays behind him in 22 starts. 0 2 pitch, grounded to third. Bregman gets to test that arm. Good throw to Altuve. His throw to first, a double play. Number 28 on the year, turned behind Fromber Valdez. He dials up a strikeout and a double play to end the inning. And a walk to Singleton. So the leadoff man aboard for Houston both innings. And another changeup chased by Caratini for a strikeout. First to the game for Suarez. Yeah, the book is better fastball hitter. And if you have the ability to do what he just did, watch this changeup just dart down and away. Great that location, so great depth. And there, yeah. Myers foul tipped the ball into the mid of Rutschman. So back to back strikeouts for Big Al. That's Big Al at his best right there. <laughs> uh, curveball and a swing and a miss. Rutschman will apply the tag, and Albert Suarez strikes at three strokes in a row. Yeah, leadoff walk, and how about back to back to back punch outs? That last one on the breaking ball. Altuve on base for the second time today and the fifth time in the last two games. I bring up Alex Bregman. That one's through the middle. That's going to be a base hit into center field. Altuve is going to try to go first to third. Cowser will lob it into second. Astros have runners on the corners with one out. Grounded to shortstop. How about another double play? Diaz bangs into his 20th, and Suarez gets a timely ending to the third. Big time here, folks. Richmond soft swing on a changeup in the first inning for a base hit, and he goes fishing for the curveball. So Valdez with a strikeout in every inning. Well, what did Adley tip it? Maybe the Astros yeah. were heading off the field. Yanner yeah. Diaz thought he maybe caught it. tipped it, and the ball hit the dirt. So he must have fouled it off. Well, it definitely hit the yeah. dirt. Yeah, and he points right back at Ortiz, the umpire. And I don't know. I don't know about that. Yeah, but we'll take it. Right center field. Oh, and, oh no! Gamble didn't see it. Lost it in the sunshine. Adley charging for second, and he'll hold right there. So maybe a couple of gifts in one sequence there. The third strike that he may or may not have felt tipped, and then a line drive that Ben Gamble lost in the sunshine. So now instead of Fromber striking out Rutschman like you said, he thought he did on that pitch in the dirt, he gives up a Sunfield double and has to deal with Gunnar Henderson. And he got it. Strike three. Good pitching right there. 93 fastball in on his hands, and he gets a tough hitter, Gunnar Henderson, for the third out of the inning with his third strikeout. Anthony Santander leading things off. He grounded into a double play his first time up. Got him. 
Swing and a miss. Santander goes down on strikes. That's four Ks for Frommer and one away in the fourth. Frommer's curveball is such a lethal weapon, and then once he changes shapes on you, forget it. Then he just dials in a fastball 97 when you're That's expecting. That's not fair. When you're expecting a curveball. Another strikeout for Frommer. That's three in a row, five in the game. Curveball just cued in front of the plate. On it quickly, Honor Diaz to make the play for out number three. So a couple of strikeouts and a little six foot ground ball, and that'll do it for the Orioles in the fourth. Frommer a one, two, three inning for the first time today. Frommer with five strikeouts through four innings starts the inning facing the number seven hitter, Emmanuel Rivera. Winning in a miss, down goes Rivera. That's strikeout number six for Frommer. That is four of the last five batters he has faced. Got him. Frommer eventually strikes him out with that breaking ball again. That's seven strikeouts for Frommer, and again, six of the last seven. Bring up Jeremy Pena, who's 0 for 2. Suarez has had base runners. In all but one inning today, but has given up just the one home. Jeremy hits one pretty well to left field, going back on it Slater. He'll watch this one. It's gone! JP3 back to back games with a home run as he is showing some serious pop in this series. Back to back days of leaving Camden Yards. You have got to put a charge into one to get it out of here. Here's Santander representing the tying run. Gunnar Henderson on first base with one out. Big pitch coming here. Pitch number 101 in the game for Fromber. Call third strike, it. bottom of the zone. Santander not happy with that call as he goes down looking for strikeout number eight for Fromber. Brandon Hyde comes out and has a few words with Roberto Ortiz and tries to protect his hitter, Santander. And now Aloy Jimenez knocks one into right field, and Jimenez has his first hit. And Jimenez with the Orioles' second hit of this inning. First time in the game, Frommer's allowed multiple hits in an inning. Frommer now with 102 pitches in this game. Still no sign of Joe Espada, the Houston manager. I'm a little surprised. It is left on left right now. And a ground ball over to first. Single 10. Oh, he dives in. Oh. Wow. He is safe. <laughs> oh, you got to be good. Routine as it gets, or so it seems. Well, John Singleton, the first baseman, he sat back on his slow roller, and he doesn't know who's running. Colton Cowser can pick him up. And how about the effort, folks? Get there, young man. And he just barely gets it in there, but he does. And Valdez is going to leave this game. Pitching change with the bases loaded. What an opportunity created by Colton Cowser. And the Orioles will counter by pinch hitting Jackson Holiday here in the bottom of the six, down by two. Right on left. Yeah. Holiday first pitch swinging into right center. That's a base hit. That will tie this game. Jackson is second. Cowser's coming home. Oh, they never saw him. A wild ride by Cowser. A three run double by Jackson. More bases loaded magic. And they're going to rise to their feet as one. This crowd of 35,302 with the Orioles one out away from a second straight late game comeback win. A little broken bat flare. Holiday on a hot. Holiday gets rid of it and gets it to first for another dramatic comeback win. 3 2 the final on a Saturday. The O's take two straight. And it's starting to feel like the good vibes are back in Baltimore. Adam.